if there's a player's ball this year, Casey White has to get a honorary plaque at the very least. A shout out or something. Because this inmate out of Alabama, out of Alabama, not this sheriff deputy woman. She gave her her retirement, her job, her savings, and her very life is now on the line. But she gave up her life too to help this man escape. Now, for the last two years or so, Casey has been grooming her. And she was breaking all the rules of the corrections department by going to visit him. So for the last two years, this man was mentally grooming and hypnotizing her. To the degree that she gave up her whole life for this God. That's what he is to her. And that just goes to show the power of the mind. And when I was away, there was many times that female correction officers had to do the walk of shame. Because like Vicky White, they got knocked by an inmate. Which is why a woman could never be in a presidential position because that strong capability always exists but Casey White is a bad mother you know what and he's gonna have movie deals he's gonna get all kinds of accolades he's a hero right now to millions and he needs to write a how-to manual What's not, it's not hard to do. It happens every day in correction facilities all over America. Everywhere. At the workplace. They can be executives. They can be doctors. They can be lawyers. It doesn't matter. They're still women. And by nature, they're naturally submissive to a man. In their nature. But Casey White is a bad man bad man and he is in my humble opinion the pimp of the year if not the pimp of the decade more later peace